Hey everybody, it's Laura with Fatbird Finds and I'm at Layman's today. I thought you guys might like to take a little tour and see what new things Joy has found. Mama Layman. Um, she's got some really pretty stuff. So let's see what we can find. So check out what's in this first box, everyone. Imagine how excited I was when mom brought me back here and she's like, look in this box. Oh my gosh, aren't they beautiful? Imagine my surprise when I saw these. They may have a home already, of course. I mean, they're exquisite. But I will take them out and show them to you if you'll just bear with me. I'm going to try to do this without so many edits. But I was just going to show you back here. This is in the back section where we like <laughs> put stuff until it's ready to go out on the floor. I'm going to show you some coronation items those are the main cool thing there's some jewelry and stuff that I'm helping her prepare and I'll get that out too and then look at this Van Briggle piece you guys come on get out of town look at her isn't she beautiful let me pull this stuff out and let you have a better look So here they are. Look at how exquisite these are. Isn't she gorgeous in all her art deco glory? Sorry about the smoke detector beep. I'm gonna get up there and change that here in a minute. <laughs> Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? My goodness, I just love these so much. I also love this little chest back here. It's adorable. And then I'm just gonna pan down. I'll let you see some other pretty things. There's some pretty uh, Fitz and Floyd and decorative Christmas in the cabinet there. But then I pulled the Van Briggle piece out for you to see. You hear a lot of people in our community talking about the Van Briggle pottery. Look at this. Isn't she beautiful? So of course, it's a console bowl piece. And look, there's the, the flower frog there. All marked. Oops, let me hold it still here for you. Colorado Springs, maybe? Van Brugel. Isn't it beautiful, that beautiful robin's egg blue color? Oh, gorgeous. Of course, it's marked here too. I think she sold as well, but I had to show her to you guys. She's stunning, isn't she? Gorgeous. So recently she came into an estate that had a whole collection of coronation memorabilia. This is some of the jewelry in the collection. There is um, not a lot of fine jewelry here. I mean, it, uh, there's a lot of costume, but it is of the era and it is so pretty. I'm gonna see if I can insert a picture. It's an ad that I found for the Trafari Crown Coronation Gems Collection. I've got it written on one of these cards. 
and we have some of the actual pieces from that now this necklace is not in the ad picture but look at that isn't that gorgeous the little charms I haven't found any markings on that one yet but these are all marked the ones I'm about to show you look at that isn't that adorable this one had a few one or two tiny little missing stones it was actually in the ad here's one that's in the ad Let's see, we've also got this beautiful commemorative Wedgwood paperweight piece. These are all in the back here being staged, so to speak. <laughs> Trying to figure out exactly where we want to put them. Let me show you what, oh wait, here's a couple more, hang on. Look at this. Look at that ephemera. Isn't that beautiful? I love this so much. I'm thinking about doing some ephemera videos where I just flip through the whole thing a whole vintage, you know, item. This may have to be one of those. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be fun. Look at this one. It's a coloring book. Isn't that fantastic? It's pretty, I don't think there's any marks, marks in it. If there are, it's very few. Don't you love that? Fantastic. Okay, so here's some more of the coronation memorabilia. Got it in this pretty little lit cabinet. Right around here somewhere we're gonna put the jewelry. Right around here. Jewelry's in a pretty little display stand. So let me get closer up here. And just kind of show you. It's cute. Little guard back there. Queen Elizabeth. Some of them say the Silver Jubilee. It's pretty, that little pottery piece there. And then, of course, look at that. That's fun. There she is with her crown. There's some big steins. I'm sure, just like anything else, they really took the opportunity to put that image on lots of different items that they could sell. Probably everybody had their own little coronation souvenir that they were making in that day. It's a pretty little tin. Look at her image there. I just love that. Down here there's a pretty plate. Pretty little cup and saucer. Let's see what the markings say on that. Oh, that's what I thought, an Ainsley by Ainsley. I just found some other teacups by Ainsley in an auction lot that we got. We're gonna have to have a teacup and saucer sale. I keep promising you guys that. There's 
There's Charles and Diana right there. Of course, you guys all recognize them. There's another pretty little tin. Look at that. Oh, these prices are awesome. Some of these tins I would pick up for resale. I think we need to make a mystery box out of some of those, you guys. Gorgeous little rosewood box. Scarf. You know how I love a good scarf. That one's so cute. Playing cards. Little flags. Look at that postcard. Just gorgeous. Isn't that a fun collection? So here's another little fun vignette to show you. Um, wouldn't be Christmas without a few toys. I probably should have plugged in the tree for you, but I'm just now noticing that it's not plugged in. I'm here after hours. <laughs> um, so look at this. There's lots of little cuties here. And that little teapot, this little, these little tea pieces, there's a whole set of that. You see the creamer back there? There's another little cup. I'm gonna pan down here and show you. It's, in, it's got its original box. Isn't that precious? And then look at all these little antique sheep. Just adorable. Another little stuffed animal is right here. And that's an original Stif. Isn't he sweet? Let me pick him up and show you. Look at his tag. So yeah, just in case there's anybody out there that doesn't really know this name or this tag. I think a lot of people do, but if you don't, it's very, it's pretty valuable. You find an original one with the tag like that, you know, they're worth 75 to $100. This little area back here is in the very back of the store and we are going to put a little fat bird mid-century pop-up shop back in there so we'll use some of mom's layman's furniture and things because we you know we don't buy big furniture pieces yet but yeah, we're gonna bring some of our things down and mid-century it up a little bit. There's some empty shelves just waiting for us. And actually somebody, <laughs> someone came by selling these. Beatles prints, I think we'll probably use those in the booth. Aren't those cute? My dog has his tools out. He's fixing something here. <laughs> Always something going on at the shop. So yeah, stay tuned. This is, you can just consider this a before. And on the next video, we'll show you the after. Okay guys, I think we're gonna end here with a little peek at my um, personal picking shelf. <laughs> This is what the, where I put the things that Gee and Mom come up with, especially for us. I've got us a couple of bonus elephants there. Those might have to go in our little spot. Pretty little mid-century waste can. Hand-painted. All kinds of little goodies. Not everything on here is for me, but most of it.
Look at that enamel on copper, very mid-century. A little enamel on copper bowl, isn't that sweet? I love that. A little bit of Christmas. I'm just gonna have to dive in there and just see what all's there. See a crochet piece. So yeah, I can't wait to see what all that's about. And I think that we're going to make this a two-parter so that you can see our little area when we get done with it. So you guys stay tuned for part two. And stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody.